Well, I think the first thing that I would say to funders, if I were giving advice to them, is don't use the word lead. We certainly want funders to be leaders, but I think when what we've seen is when they sort of step up too quickly to say we're leading the initiative, the anxiety level goes up. Because when funders lead initiatives, that means they pick, <laughs> they get to decide which outcomes, they get to decide who's going to sit at the table, and all of those things really need to, be, need to be coming up from the bottom up. Funders really need to think differently about how their dollars can be used to leverage collective impact. And I would say the most effective way for funders to think about having a small but significant pot of money here to really make sure that that initiative is going to stay and is going to be solid is to think about being absolutely ready to fund the things that under a collaborative model would be nice but not necessary, but in a collective impact model are absolutely necessary. So we want to pick outcomes. Well. Collaborations come together all the time. We put some paper up on the wall. We put our sticky dots up. We pick some outcomes. That's not the process that you want to use in collective impact. We want this to be data driven. We need to bring to the table data, often presented and collected in a different way than it normally is, put together in a way that's going to help people really see it differently. Somebody has to do that. On a shoestring, they're going to skip that step. Somebody's going to bring out the last kids count report, they're going to look at the indicators, they're going to pick the ones they want. Every time one of these initiatives takes a shortcut on things that are really going to be the difference between the old way of doing it and the new way of doing it, we weaken their capacity to really be in this for the long run. Um, we were just talking, we just had a big session on policy. Well, one of the things, if we want to talk about resources, funders' resources are always just a drop in the bucket compared to public resources. But to know where the resources are that are really going to match up with the plan that you come up with when you pick your strategies, somebody has to actually go do a policy scan. Those things aren't just sitting around. Governments don't do those on their own. Um, bringing the public sector to the table is another example of a place where I think funders can play a huge role. What advice would I give to nonprofits? Well, I think, I think the advice that they're getting on their own is don't run in the room and put your hand up to be the backbone. Don't make that the first thing that you do. Um, we have actually had gone into so many communities in which the undercurrent conversation is who's going to get to be the backbone. You know, we developed a very quick little backbone assessment tool to let people understand what that really means and then to give the community an honest way to, to do that. Um, so, that's, so the first thing is I think um, Nonprofits hearing this think I'm either going to be in it or out of it. A way to be in it is to put my hand up and say I'll be the backbone and I'll be at the center of this. Giving them a chance to really step back and say this is an opportunity for you to really bring what you do well to the table and be honest about what you don't do well. Now building that relationship of trust for that to happen is critically important.